Hello friends, today we are going to learn the Carnot cycle. In 1824, the Sadi Carnot proposed the heat engine which work on the Carnot cycle. In this heat engine, he used the gas as a working substance for heat engine. For this heat engine, he make some assumptions and take a short look on these assumptions. First assumption is piston and cylinder arrangement is weightless and frictionless. Second assumption is heat transfer takes place with the help of heat reservoirs. And third assumption is the walls of cylinder and piston are perfectly insulated. Second and third assumption is most important in the Carnot cycle. So remember this second and third assumption. In the Carnot cycle, there are four processes involved in the Carnot cycle. Two are the isothermal processes and two are the reversible adiabatic processes. So, first process in Carnot cycle is isothermal expansion process. In this process, heat addition is takes place. Second process is reversible adiabatic expansion. Third process in Carnot cycle is isothermal compression. In this process, heat rejection is carried out and fourth and last process is reversible adiabatic compression. Before going to study the Carnot cycle, note down the four notes which are helpful for understanding the Carnot cycle. First note is in isothermal process temperature is constant. Second note is in reversible adiabatic process there is no heat transfer between system and its surrounding. When there is no heat transfer between system and surrounding, the change in entropy is zero or process is carried out at constant entropy. And third and fourth notes are no, known to all of us. So look the note three and four. Pressure is inversely proportional to the volume. And fourth note is temperature is directly proportional to the volume means as temperature increases volume increases and in third note pressure is I said pressure is inversely proportional to the volume so as pressure increases volume decreases or pressure decreases volume increases in the Carnot cycle heat engine is used in this heat engine, the walls of piston and cylinder are perfectly insulated by using the insulating material and two heat reservoirs are used. First is the hot reservoir or heat reservoir which acts as a source and second reservoir is a which acts as a sink which is a of low temperature. The first process in the Carnot cycle is isothermal expansion. In this process, heat addition is takes place. Firstly, bring the heat reservoir which act as a source in contact with the cylinder head and it it starting starts the transferring the qh amount of heat to the gas as gas receiving the heat from heat reservoir at t1 temperature the gas starts expanding and this gas starts expand expands from position a to b a is the initial position of the piston and b is the second position of the piston at initial position of piston pressure is p1 volume is v1 and temperature is t1 and expanded position means at position b the pressure is p2 volume is v2 and temperature is t1 because of uh, because of process is isothermal there is no change in temperature change in temperature so t1 is same temperature is same Plot this process or displacement of the piston on pressure volume diagram. This is the pressure volume diagram. This is the initial position and this is the second position of the gas or piston. As gas receives the heat from the heat reservoir, the volume starts increasing and as volume starts increases, pressure starts decreases. So, the process can be represented by the curve A to B like this. So, second process in the Carnot cycle is reversible adiabatic expansion. Reversible adiabatic means there is no change in temperature or entropy or there is no 
transfer of heat between system and surrounding. So, for this, remove the initial reservoir and insulating cover bring in contact with the cylinder head of the system. Because of this, there is a restriction between transferring heat between system and surrounding. So, there is this process is carried out at in adiabatic manner. As already heat is transferred to the gas, as gas, as heat is already transferred to the gas, the gas starts continues expanding from B to C. C is the next position of the piston, and at this position, P3 is the vol uh, pressure is P3, volume is V3, and temperature is T2. Look at these temperatures. There is a change in temperature, but because of adiabatic process there is no change in entropy plot this process on pv diagram this is a increase in volume from position of piston from b to c so as increasing volume so decrease in pressure so from b to c there is an increase in volume and in decrease in pressure increase in volume and decrease in pressure look third process involved in the Carnot cycle third process involved in the Carnot cycle is isothermal compression in this process heat rejection is takes place in this process during this process we have to remove the insulating cover from the cylinder head and heat reservoir of low temperature which act as a sink bring in contact with the cylinder head because of this Sink temperature is lower than the gas, the heat starts transferring from the gas to the reservoir and QC amount of heat transferred to the heat reservoir. Because of heat is rejecting from the gas to the reservoir, the temperature of gas starts decreasing. So because of this, volume of the gas decreasing and piston moves from C to D. This is the this is a uh, this is a pressure volume and temperature at C and this is a pressure volume and temperature at D because of isothermal process there is a no change in temp temperature look at this temperature this is a T2 temperature this is a T also T2 temperature this there is a no change in temperature plot this process on PV diagram as this is compression process and decrease in temperature so because of decrease in temperature there is a decrease in volume so there is a decrease in volume as volume is decreases pressure pressure increases so process this process is represented by curve c to d and this process is also isothermal and last process involved in the carnot cycle is reversible adiabatic compression process this is also compression process but this is a adiabatic process there is a no change in temperature there is a no change in entropy there is a no change in entropy so previous heat sink removed and we have to remove the heat sink and the insulating cover bring in contact with the cylinder head as heat is removed from already removed from the gas to the gas to the sink because of this the temperature of the gas decreases and gas starts continues to ex, uh, continues to compressing and uh, the new position or initial the new position is the initial position of the piston so initial position the gas brings to the initial position p1 v1 and t1 we can plot this process like this on PV diagram bring bring to the initial position gas compresses compresses adiabatically so there is a decrease in volume and increase in pressure so join point D and A like this by using PV diagram we can plot the TS diagram of the Carnot cycle. Firstly, we have to replace the or we can replace the naming ABCD by 1, 2, 3, 4 respectively. So, 
this is the PV diagram of Carnot cycle. This is the first process isothermal expansion process carried out at temp T1 temperature. This is reversible adiabatic process. In this reversible adiabatic compression expansion process, there is a no change in entropy. This third process is 3 to 4. This is also isothermal compression process and carried out at a constant T2 temperature. And this is the last of process 4 to 1, which is carried out at constant entropy and this is a reversible adiabatic compression process using this PV diagram we can plot this TS diagram so look at this first process from point 1 to 2 this is a isothermal process means process carried out at a constant temperature take a point 1 at this location and draw constant temperature process up to 2 horizontally left to right this is the this is the isothermal process so this carried out at a constant temperature during this process qh amount of heat is added qh amount of heat is added to the system and gets gas starts expanded gas starts expanding from 2 to 3 this is this process is plot 2 to 3 process process 2 to 3 is reversible adiabatic process means there is a no change in entropy process carried out at constant entropy this is our entropy on this x axis is entropy and y axis is temperature so at constant entropy plot the 2 to 3 process at constant entropy we can plot the process vertically downward up to 0.3 so next process is isothermal compression isothermal compression process is carried out at constant temperature so draw the horizontal line from 3 to 4 from right to left and during this process QC amount of heat is rejected to the sink or surrounding and last process is reversible adiabatic compression process in this process the entropy is constant so and so join the 4.2 up to the 1 vertically upward so we have we have seen the how to plot the ts diagram by using the pv diagram we, i can show you the example of a heat engine which works on the carnot cycle this is a uh, simple example of heat engine work on which works on the carnot cycle this is a heat engine this is a hot reservoir which acts as a source of temperature t1 and this is a heat reservoir which act as a sink of low temperature T2 T1 temperature is the source temperature and T2 is the sink temperature the T1 is greater than T2 so we can say that the work done is difference between the heat supplied heat supplied and heat rejected this is a so work is equal to Q1 minus Q2 the Q1 minus Q2 we can also write like this Q1 is equal to temperature at temperature at Q1 and difference between the entropy so S2 is equal to S3 and S1 is equal to S4 we can write the S1 S2 minus S1 and heat rejected is temperature at point T2 and dif and product of it is heat rejected is the product of temperature at t2 and difference between the entropy at at that point so now we are going to see how to calculate the efficiency of the carnot cycle simply we known efficiency is the ratio of output to the input in this carnot cycle we got the output as a work and we gave the input as a heat so simply the expression for the efficiency thermal efficiency of the carnot cycle is the ratio of work output to the heat input in this carnot cycle work output is the qh minus qc we can say or we can also write the qh is equal to q1 and qc is equal to q2 for simplicity and heat supplied is q1 so 
put these values in this expression and this expression can be expressed as like this 1 minus q2 by q1 but q1 we already seen q1 is the product of t1 into temperature at that point temperature at that point and entropy difference and q2 is the product of temperature at that point and difference between the entropy so put this values of q1 and q2 in this expression this expression can be written in this form like this value of q1 is t1 into s2 minus s1 and value of q2 is t2 into s2 minus s1 and again value of q1 is t1 into s2 minus s1 so bring s2 minus s1 common and bring t2 t1 minus t2 as a one side so we can write this expression like this so the term of entropy difference is cancelled out because of same term and this expression can be written as like this from this expression we can say that from this expression we can say that the efficiency of the Carnot engine always less than the 1 and the efficiency of the Carnot cycle is only depend on the temperatures of hot reservoir temperature of hot reservoir and temperature of cold reservoir nothing other than the any parameter so we today learn the Carnot cycle and efficiency of the Carnot cycle so uh, I request to you my friends please if you like the this video hit the hit the like button and share please comment if any queries and don't forget to subscribe